Alright, it's uh, vlog 14. I know I messed up the um, picture on the last one. It wasn't vlog 12, it was vlog 13. I feel as tired as I look. Don't know what's up with me today, it's not, uh, it's not feeling it. I'm 99% sure I've got my pants on backwards as well. It's quite tight at the front and there's a lot going on at the back. So yeah, pretty much fully booked today. Got a full day of cutting. I really want a cold coke. That'll be the uh, first portal call we get into the shop. Tomorrow, uh, I think I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. We got we got Christmas Day tomorrow. We're putting the tree up on that, which will be uh, interesting. It's one o'clock. We're uh, three hours into the shift. I feel I'm not feeling too great. I'm not gonna lie. I don't know what's wrong. Just feel fluey. Feel sick. Yeah. I'm not feeling too great at all. I had quite a few cuts already. I've just done a before and after, which I'll show you in a minute. So I just come back off lunch. Talking to yourself, mate. Talking to yourself again. Talking to the vlog, mate. Yeah, look like you're talking to yourself. I guess you technically are, because no one watches the vlog, so. It's good when your uh, boss is supportive. The shop's got a Christmas tree. It's uh, quite nice. And I did, I did a bit of drawing today, actually. A cockadill. Right, back in the car. It's been a long day. I'm not feeling too uh, too good, but it's story time. We're back in the car. So I'm gonna tell you about something that happened on Saturday. Saturday night, just gone. And we went to a place called the Westgate, which is in Bath, surprisingly. So we're having a good night. We've had some food. I've had a few, I think I had some apple juice. And we go to the Westgate. Now, we're upstairs. I decide that I need the toilet, which is pretty much how any story that I'm going to tell starts. So I go to the toilet, go to open the door, and there's a sign out of order. So I'm thinking, right, okay, that's, that's fine, these things happen. Toilets go out of order. So I go downstairs to the, where the nearest toilet is, and there's two or three urinals out of order, and one of the sit-down toilets is out of order as well. So that leaves, I think, one urinal and two sit-down toilets which for the whole place is ridiculous. It was quite a big place. I don't get how you can have that many toilets out of order. So I sit down, I go to the toilet, particularly messy. Um, I don't know whether that's too much detail, but it wasn't the most solid. That's all I'm gonna say. Almost had like a buttery, buttery kind of texture to it, I reckon. Like a film, like a grape. Imagine a grape skin, like a, like a, like a, almost like it's covered in discharge. So, I finish, right, and I'm thinking, let's start the next process, let's start the old wipage. No toilet roll. No fucking toilet roll. Uh, I mean, they've only got two toilets that are working that would need toilet roll. So I'm thinking, right, what do I do? You know, what can I do at this point? So I pull my trousers up and my pants, um, and very kind of loosely, I didn't pull them up too much because I don't want to smudge in in my pants. And I'm thinking, I'm gonna pull them up, go into the next cubicle, get some toilet roll. Get to the next cubicle. No fucking toilet roll. I'm not even joking, there was no toilet roll in either of the toilets. I'm angry at this point. I'm, I'm uncomfortable, all right, because I've got what can only be described as half a pot of Nutella in my pants. And I'm, you know, I'm annoyed, I'm annoyed by this. So I go back into my original cubicle and I'm thinking, what can I do? So I take off my socks and I have to use them. I have to, there's nothing else I can use. So give it a good wipe, good old clean. Side note, quite liberating. It's quite, I felt free wiping my ass with socks and if I could afford it, I probably would just use socks. So it takes both my socks to clean myself properly. All right, that's how much there is. And the annoying thing is these were Next socks. All right, so these weren't cheap Primark ones. These were probably about seven quid. Finished that and I just left them on the floor. Uh, in like in like a dirty protest in how disgusted I am with this place. So if you work at the Westgate or you're a doorman there and it went around that night that someone had left some shitty socks on the floor. Um, I did take a picture as evidence. You, it's not graphic, don't worry, but I did take a picture. Partly because I thought if I went home without my socks on, my missus would think I was uh, having an affair. 
So I took a picture. So if I, wait, if I do that, look. There's the picture. So that was my dirty protest. And there was that much on the first sock that when I dropped it on the floor, it actually made like a, like a kind of bit of a splat sound. Not a splat, but like a, you could hear it. You could hear there was some kind of material that was quite moist on it. So that's my story for Saturday. Um, hope you enjoyed it. So I've been invited to burger night. I might go is is burger and chips for a fiver. So I might go to that. So if I do, I'll take you along. If not, I'll be cooking pizza at home. So we'll see what happens. Right, I'm home. Any good vlogger would know how important it is to have your um, octopus type tripod thing. Uh, mine's just broken. Decided not to go out. I'm gonna cook some pizza. I've just edited the footage that I've done so far today. Realised how fucking boring my day's been, so I'm gonna try and jazz up this uh, cooking process for you. Say bye to everyone, Angel. Right, signing off. I'm gonna edit the footage. Tomorrow's Christmas, so I'm gonna vlog tomorrow. Have fun.